What is up? This is your LA in a minute. Today I want to talk about the legendary Bob's Big Boy. Now I'm here at the oldest Bob's continually in existence, built in 1949, this one here in Toluca Lake. But the chain actually started in 1936 as Bob's Pantry over in Glendale. So you gotta remember in the 30s and 40s, the car wasn't as widespread. There were no drive-throughs, in and outs, McDonald's. So car hop service was en vogue and that's what helped Bob skyrocket in popularity. And to this day, the Toluca Lake location still has car hop service on Saturday and Sunday nights. Pretty cool. So when Bob Weon graduated from Glendale High School in 1933, he was voted most likely to not succeed. He began working as a dishwasher in various cafeterias and coffee shops, and his interest in how restaurants worked was piqued. He was promoted to manager at one of the stores after learning about pricing and merchandising, and then he went over to Sternberger's Right Spot Cafe to learn recipes for chili, hamburgers, and red relish. Right Spot also offered car side service, and he was intrigued. In 1936, after saving $300, Weehan purchased a 10-stool stand on Colorado Boulevard in Glendale and opened the Bob's Pantry. One night, a group of musicians came in asking for something more than just a burger. And as a joke, he cut a sesame bun in thirds instead of half, placed meat on both pieces of bread with the cheese, and it was the first double burger in existence. He named it the Big Boy after a regular Rick Woodruff. This is Rick, and I gotta say, the resemblance is pretty uncanny. The burger stand took off from there as car service was bustling on a nightly basis. He continually had to turn down applications for car hops, who, by the way, were only female at the time. So Mr. Not Likely to Succeed was pretty darn successful, and he was elected to the Glendale City Council and became mayor in 1948. That's right. He had to give up the mayoral position, however, after less than a year due to conflict of interest. Bob's quickly went national. He co-branded the restaurant with 34 different names, including Frisch's, Parquet Diner, and Shoney's, which became the largest franchisee with 392 locations and still in existence to this day, despite dropping the Big Boy name. So really cool note is that The Adventures of Big Boy was a free comic that kids could pick up, and many issues, including this first one right here, were created by Stan Lee. Yes, that Stan Lee. With 466 free issues, it was the longest running promotional comic on record. In 1965, the Beatles dined at Bob's Big Boy, where it's still the most requested booth. And in 1995, the movie Heat featuring Robert De Niro was also filmed at the Big Boy. There are still weekly car rallies in the parking lot, often attended by Jay Leno. So Marriott eventually bought the business and did some very corporate things and only five Bob's Big Boys remain. But if you're ever in Toluca Lake on weekends, stop by a car rally, get some car hop service. Remember, it all started in L.A. All right, L.A., it's been a minute.